Hi, I'm Bob. And I'm Kelly. <laughs> Welcome to our Wednesday vlog. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. And if you're brand new to our channel, thank you so much for coming to see us today. And checking us out. Yeah. <laughs> today we're going to talk about some of our favorite things. Well, actually 10 of our favorite things about Disney World. Right? Yes. Disney World. In different categories. Just because we like it. We want to just share. Yeah. Maybe you guys can get to know us a little bit better. Knowing what some of our favorite things are. And maybe we'll surprise each other too. Yeah, and maybe you can send us comments on what your favorite things are. Exactly. And you can probably say, hey, you guys are like loco in la cabeza. <laughs> Sorry if to Spanish speaking people if I offended you because my Spanish is carambola. <laughs> What's our first category? Okay, first category is what is your favorite resort to stay at? My favorite resort is Polynesian. Really? Mm hmm. Huh. It's changed. Yeah, that kind of surprises me. Well, what's yours? The Polynesian. Okay, so. <laughs> That's, you know, why it's surprising is because when we first, our first day at the Polynesian, we weren't that thrilled with it, but... Yeah, it was, I mean, it was nice. There was nothing wrong with it, but we just weren't sure that it was our our place yet. You know, how you kind of find what feels like home to you. And, yeah, so Wilderness Lodge was our number one, and then it got replaced, so... It did. Sorry, Wilderness Lodge, now Polynesian. I like it there. I like the monorail. I love the rooms. I love the friendliness. I love the atmosphere. Love I love the feel of it. I love the theming. The relaxed it, it does. The atmosphere. And, it, and it's not just because it's our home resort for DVC. It is actually like home. It is. It actually does feel like home now. You kind of, you know, when you get that one resort that feels like home and you just go and you go, uh, I'm, I'm home. home. Yeah. So that's, that's the Polynesian now. Cool. All right. What's number two? All right. Number two is what? is your favorite quick service restaurant. You go first. My favorite quick service restaurant is Columbia Harbor House. I was thinking that until I remembered about Casey's. I knew you were gonna say Casey's. I love Cause you are a Casey's. hot dog man. I am a hot dog guy. Yeah. And they have the best hot dogs I've ever had. Of course, I've never been to Coney, so please don't get offended if you like Coney Island better, but. I love Casey's. You do. And what about Columbia Harbor House? Columbia Harbor House, I like the atmosphere. <coughs> Excuse me. I like the, there's plenty of seating. You can sit upstairs. I'm, like right now, I'm on this big fried fish, you know, like the shrimp, the fried shrimp kick. So, it's just comfort food to me. <laughs> it's like fried comfort food. So, yes. That's, that's my spot my go-to spot. Okay, so that's two. What's next? So, what is your, since we just did quick service, what is your favorite signature restaurant? Since we seem to do signature restaurants pretty regularly. Mine's California Grill. Why? I like the atmosphere. I like that it sits up on top of the contemporary. The food is usually always good and they have a really good selection. Because if I want steak, I can get it. If I want Asian, I can get it. They yeah. have pretty much every type of food. It's not just one, what do they call it, pigeonhole type of food? Yeah, just, yeah, one one flavor. One because food. Tiffin's would be my runner up, but it only has like, you know, Asian, African flavors. It's right. not, so it kind of pigeonholes them a little bit. What about you? I debated on this one because I've had some issues with this place <laughs> the past couple trips, but I still love my flying fish. Because I thought long and hard about it. I know. I felt, I thought long and hard about it because the last couple trips we were on, you know, I had some little hiccups hiccups with flying fish, just with things that were on the menu that they took away. And, you know, a just service we had wasn't, you know, the best. But uh, Tiffin's was going to be, but it's kind of runner up. Because I figured, you know, I still really do love the food at Flying Fish. I do. And I, you know, usually get like the same thing every time we go, which means if you get the same stuff, you usually really like it. For true. For so true. I love the atmosphere. I, it's Flying Fish is at the boardwalk. I love the boardwalk. I like the just kind of the atmosphere, the atmosphere the of it. Yeah. So I, I still think that Flying Fish is my number one guy. 
Okay. Moving on. Moving on. So. Favorite park. Favorite park. Gotta be Magic Kingdom. For me, I don't know about you, but for me, it's Magic Kingdom. What is it about Magic Kingdom that makes it your favorite? Because it is the quintessential Disney park. It is all Disney all the time. And I just, I am a big Disney freak from way back. So, Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I agree. Magic Kingdom. There's just, you know, more rides, just the, the atmosphere of it, the castle. I love Magic Kingdom at night. If, if you had to pick one, if you were just going to go on a trip and go to one park. It would be Magic Kingdom. It would be Magic Kingdom. Yep. You With, can't go to Disney fail. without going to Magic Kingdom. Nope. It's just the, the town, you know, you got the castle, you got the fireworks in the castle, you got just everything that goes on. I mean, even though the parades kind of irritate me sometimes because <laughs> I'm trying to get somewhere when one's going on. Right. You know, and, but, you know, the parades, it's got, it's got everything. It has it all. And it just... I just love my Magic Kingdom. I agree. Okay, so next we have... What is your favorite ride? Favorite ride. It's strange that my favorite park would be Magic Kingdom because my favorite ride is Tower of Terror. I love That's that okay. Ride. You can have a favorite park and a favorite ride. I love that ride. <laughs> That's my fave. That's your fave? Yeah. Okay. I just like it. My, yeah. I debated pretty long and hard about this one too because I actually have two favorites but I had to do the whole if one got taken away which one would could I not live without and I think I would be really upset if I could no longer ride Soren like it's between Soren and Splash Mountain for me, mm. but I could probably live without Splash Mountain. I don't know why, but Soren, it's like one of those I always have to do, and it just, I don't know, just love it. That's interesting why? that Magic Kingdom's our favorite park. Of I know. Neither one of our favorite rides yeah. are there. <laughs> well, I said Splash Mountain was, it, it was a tie. Okay, I mean, well, if we had to pick favorites in Magic Kingdom, mine would be Big Thunder. Right, mine would be Splash Mountain. But, so, you know, overall favorite ride, something that you have to do every time you go to Disney. Yes. Tower of Terror for me. And, and Soren for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And that brings us to... What is your favorite character? Donald Duck. Because he's ornery like that? Yes. That? He's a mean, nasty cuss and I love it. <laughs> he's feisty. <laughs> he's feisty. Yep. And I just like that guy. Hey, yeah. Donald Duck. I know it all, I know it all started with a mouse. And I love the mouse, but you know, Donald is almost as old as the mouse. Well, you can still have respect for the mouse. I respect the mouse, yes, I do, totally. Yeah. What about you? My favorite is Dumbo. You already knew this. Oh, yeah, Dumbo. that's true. Dumbo's my man. Yeah. He's just, he's cute and he's sweet and just, you know. Yeah. It's Dumbo. Dumbo. That's okay. it. She's a Dumbo girl. That's all you gotta say. Yeah. Okay. So, you now, gotta get around the park somehow. What is your favorite mode of transportation? I like that segue. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Oh, the segue girl. Yeah. My favorite, hands down, is the minivans. Seriously, I love the minivans. And we are gonna do a vlog on those later. I mean, coming up in future. Yeah, in a couple, three weeks probably. Yeah, so. Why? Why? Because because I feel like I'm special when I'm in a minivan. <laughs> you are special. Yeah. In your own way. But we're not talking about that type of special. I feel like I am like... Like a VIP like kind a of VIP, special? Yes, like a VIP kind of special. Okay. When, you, when I'm in the minivan. And you know, that's what, Matt, that's what Disney's all about, is feeling special. That's so, true. And that's, that's one of my ways I feel special at Disney. I like that. Don't make me cry. <laughs> your turn. Getting all teary. What's your favorite? My favorite is actually the boats. I don't know why I love the boats. I think they're just relaxing and love to get on a boat and just be on the water and see things from the water's perspective. And It would be really cool if they built like a, a canal from, you know, like uh, Epcot. Oh yeah. From Crescent Lake. 
to uh, Animal Kingdom, yep. and you could take a boat to Animal oh Kingdom. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool! Like a like a Jungle Cruise kind of boat. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be really cool. It's like Disney. Listen. Yeah, but like the boats to Disney Springs, I love. Yeah, all the I boats. I love the, just all of them. I I love the boats. So, what is your favorite bar and lounge? My favorite bar and lounge to date, because I haven't been to all of them, is uh, Nomad at Animal Kingdom. Yep. That I, that to me is worth going to Animal Kingdom just for that bar. Just for the bar. Just for that bar. Just to hang out, have a few cocktails, alcoholic beverages. Or, you know, just people watch, whatever. Right. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of bars and lounges that we haven't hit yet. No. Especially in Disney Springs. And especially in Disney Springs. Because we usually are not at Disney Springs at nighttime. Because we're usually at the signature restaurants yeah. at nighttime. But, yeah, so there are a few on our list that we haven't gotten to. But as of right now... As of today. Nomad Lounge. Nomad Lounge. the Lounge. winner. Yeah. Bob. So, Kelly. What is your favorite souvenir... Because we go to Disney quite a bit. Yeah, it's like, what's a must-have? And what's a must-have that you have to buy every time you go? My must-have, and I don't know if any, we might have said this before in other vlogs, but I have to have a lanyard, and I, I buy a new lanyard to commemorate that trip. So if there's something special like 4th of July or, you know. Where we stayed. Or where we stayed, or holidays, or it's new for this time of year. Yeah. I have to have a new lanyard that I haven't gotten before and I get pins to put on that lanyard that commemorate that stay. Where they yeah. came from. If you guys are pin collectors, let us know if you're interested in seeing Yeah, if you want to see you know, about our lanyards. lanyards and our pins and then I'll be glad to show you. Yeah. That might be kind of cool. What about you? I something that I have to get every trip is a Pandora charm. Yes. Every trip, um, this started it started on my anniversary. Started on my birthday. Bob got me a Pandora bracelet for my birthday two years ago, and he got me a little heart. This is the, the dream is a wish your heart makes charm. And then so every trip that we go on, I have to get a new Pandora charm. So our last question is, what is your favorite time of year to go to Disney? My favorite time of year. Uh, I really like the Christmas decorations. I know. I'm shocked. I am shocked. I we've been there one time for the Christmas decorations and they were so awesome. I could have sworn you were gonna say Halloween. No. Halloween is like your jam. Halloween is my jam. But you know what? Nobody does Christmas like Disney. That's true. And I am not a Christmas person. No, but, you're such a Halloween person. But when you go to Disney during the Christmas celebrations, it is truly magical. It is. Okay, first of all, Bob totally stole my thunder because my favorite time <laughs> is Christmas too. But I am a Christmas person. I love the Halloween decorations, yes, but Christmas is my favorite time of year to go. Every, you know, the resorts are all decorated. You've got the big gingerbread houses, you know, the big gingerbread house at the Grand Floridian. The, you know, it's just, they do it up right. Like, it's amazing. It's magical. It really is. And December is nice weather down there. It's usually... It's not, usually not uh, raining. It's usually not nice weather where we live. You know, it's... It's just perfect. It's, it's it's Christmas perfection. Christmas perfection. It is. It really is. Yeah. I'm glad I shocked her. You did. It's awesome. <laughs> so that about wraps it up, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. That's, that's our ten favorite things. Yeah. So let us know, guys, what your favorites are. Yeah. You know, Hit us up. We let you know a little bit about us. Let us know a little bit more about you, what your favorites are. Favorite rides, favorite things to do, favorite restaurants, you know, maybe yours or something we haven't tried yet. Leave us a comment if you guys have any favorites that you want to let us know about. Yeah, hit that subscribe button because it don't cost nothing. It's still free, apparently. Yeah, okay. it's still that special. All right, thank you so much for sticking with us, guys. Hope you had fun. We will see you next week. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye. Yeah. Okay, hi, I'm Bob. She's not ready yet. I can't. 
Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, hey, I'm Michaela. <laughs> Michaela. I'm Michaela. <laughs> she turned it down, you know, real quick. <laughs> Since I'm Michaela. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. Hi, I'm Kelly. Thanks for coming and joining us for our Wednesday vlog. If you are returning to our channel, thanks so much for coming back. And if you're new, thanks for showing up. <laughs> thanks for showing up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>